Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. What good evening. Hello, Eric. Diego. Hi. Hi. Elizabeth. Hi. Hi. How's everything? Good evening. Hi. Good evening, teacher. Hi. Hi. I, I came early, teacher. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> Finally, right? Yes. You're early today. All right, yes. What day is today? Wednesday, right? Wednesday, yes, yes, Wednesday. How are you yes. today, guys? How is everything? How do you feel? How was your day? I feel good. All right. And uh, I feel about... stressed out. Really? Why? I don't know. Too much work? Yes, but I'm trying to think in other things here in the house. So it's keeping, yeah, it has been keeping your mind busy. And maybe that's why you have got your stress, you're feeling stress right now. Uh, yeah, that's possible. Yes. And tell me, how was your day? Was it good? Was it bad? More or less? What can you say? What can you say, guys? Hello, are you there? Am I alone? I had a good day, teacher, because usually I am having problems in my work, because is um, I'm working with um, legal... I don't know how can I say tramites legales. Well, legal transactions. Legal transactions, yes, and every um mis error. Mistake, yes, every mistake. Mistake, every mistake. It's a big problem, or can be a discount of my salary, or what else? I understand. understand. Wow. All right, so you're dealing with that. It's making you, it's keeping you busy and uh, has given you a lot of stress. That's why, that's why you're feeling stressed out right now. Because of that, yes. All right, all right. All right. Eric, hello, Eric. How are you? How's everything? How are, uh, how was your day? And for me, it was a little hard. Oh, really? Because why? I was making concept. Uh, banking conciliation. I don't you know were making it. you were what? Um, banking conciliation. All right. I don't know if it's correct. Conciliation in Bangladesh. You said ba banking cancellations. Exactly. All right. I was making that uh, on my job, and the be the. The the employee the business ha has almost eight account and that is hard because it has a uh, more or better saying several uh, transaction per day. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I have to be focusing that. Uh -huh. Because one mistake, I I I need to start again, and uh -huh. that I have to um uh, how can I say quadrar. What well, depends on the context. What, what what are you trying to say? Uh, quadrar la conciliación. Like you talking about money? Of course. I have no idea. <laughs> yeah, no or, idea. But, but something like that. I have I have to uh yeah, I don't have know. in order the, the accounts. Uh, that's uh, why uh, that's why I I feel stressed. Yeah. It's hard but 
I I will do the the same tomorrow. Same tomorrow. All right. I understand. I understand. Yes. That's it. So, uh, uh, let me see. I was uh looking some uh for the for what you're saying is qu quadrate, <laughs> quadrate. All right. Quadrate. Quadrate. Actually, no. Quadrate. Quadrate. Yes. Let me write it down in the chat. Quadrate. Uh, no, when I, I am, when I have to do that in my work. Um, yes. I say joking my my um, my friend. Uh, let's uh, square. <laughs> square, uh, square. But uh, it's not it's not a square. Maybe I don't know. It's possible. You know, you never know. You never stop learning. There are some words that sometimes. Well, I know what the word is, and uh, sometimes I see I see the word in a different context. And I'm like, wait a minute, what does this word mean in this context? And I look for it, and I'm like, wow, I did not know about this. Sometimes you don't know what the word uh, like really means. It has different definitions. Sometimes you only know one definition, and you don't know the rest. And you, at the end, you're like surprised that you you, you didn't know one, one definition of it. Maybe you can use square. Uh, you, I don't know, actually. I know square, square is used in different contexts, but I don't know if you, you can use it like that. Yes. And as you know, it's it's uh, very complex. There are many things that I don't know, many things that I really don't understand. Yes, and uh, I have to learn, investigate, do some research, and uh, learn more. Yes, learn more expressions, vocabulary, verbs, many things. Yes. All right. So Eric and Diego, you've been doing some uh, ah, dealing with numbers and things. Ah, no, that's complicated. Complicated. Yes. <laughs> wow. Teacher, do you like series or movies? What? Do you like series or movies? Yeah. Do you know Last of Us? Yes. Uh, did you see that? No, I have not seen it. Uh, I had a, play a PlayStation 3 like five or six years ago, and I played the video game. The video game is really good. And I have not seen the movie, to be honest. Some people have told me that the movie is really good, but I don't know. I mean, the series is really good. It's not a... It's, yes, it's a series. It's really good. I highly recommend that if you want to to waste your time, <laughs> see this. Yeah. yeah. Now, actually, I'm going to have... I'm going to have next week, I'm going to have a lot of time off because I'm not going to have any students in the school. I'm going to be in the school just like... Uh, to be there, I'm gonna be there, and in December I'm going to be in my house the whole day. I'm not going to work the whole month, so I'm going to have a lot of time off to to catch up with a series that I have uh stopped watching. I have so many anime animes that I have stopped watching, movies, and many things that I want to watch. So let's see what happens in December. Attack on Titans. Yes, I finished it on uh Saturday. Yes. Really. Yeah, I went to bed at two a.m. because I wait. I waited for for some uh, anime web pages to upload the episode, the final episode, and I watched it. <laughs> yes, hey, I I haven't seen it, but you um, should. I have to see. It's it's a masterpiece. I have to see the last uh, season, but when I when I when I have time. When... when I get some time, when I get some time, when I have time. Okay. And where do you work there in Surutan? Uh, it's called Iquilisco. It's not very close. I mean, it's not very far from where I live. It takes me 15 or 20 minutes to get there by car. Oh, really? It's not really far. I know, I know, I know Surutan, but no, not a lot Iquilisco. I mm -hmm. only know the, the Bahia. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. La, ba La Bahia? How do you say Bahia? Oh, Bay. Bay, ah. Inglisco Bay. I was inventing names. <laughs> Bay, yes. Yes. All right, all we right. We got it. We got it, the idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Sometimes 
sometimes you have to come up with with your own words make them up you have to make them up yes you don't know sometimes it's okay all right uh people let me tell you that th there is a lot to do today but we have we're gonna continue uh, dealing dealing with uh report speech but it's it's gonna be taken to a different level it's more complicated now it is going to be a little bit more complicated because uh, it, it involves more more structures and there's a structure that I find not well for me is it is easy but you might find that kind of difficult to to uh not to understand it to practice with it that might give you some some problems yes but we're gonna see what, what we can do all right let's begin uh Mario I got your message in the in the group over here I mean in the, in the zoom chat Yes, uh, Marilyn, are you available right now? Let me know. Mauricio and Katia, let me know, okay? Yes. Let me take attendance. Hi, teacher. Hi. Diego Josue Benitez. Present, teacher. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez Ramirez. Emerson Alexander Lopez Lopez. No, uh, Eric Enrique. Here in the house. All right. <laughs> in the house. All right, all right. Thank you. Yulisa Jamilet Villalta. No? Okay. That's all right. Give me a moment. All right. So you, you say Jamilet, right? No. Uh, Carla Ivania Anaya Ancheta. No, okay. Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present teacher, but uh, in this time I will be like a listener, but I hope to join to the class as soon as possible. All right, thank you, thank you. That's okay. Thank you. Luis Fabricio Tobar Ramos. Thank you. No, okay, Luis Javier Castillo. No, Magdiel Esau Garcia. Present teacher. All right, thank you, thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Perez. Present. Hello, hello, thank you. Mario Ernesto Ramirez. All right. Mauricio Edgardo Soriano Ramirez. I'm here. Thank you, thank you. Let me see. Rafael Alberto Herrera Moreno. <clears throat> Raúl Edgardo Muñoz del Cid. And uh, Ronald Alexander Vasquez Diego. All right. Let me see. I just wanna uh, let me see. Hold on. Uh, Elizabeth is here and Emerson. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, for the ones that are available, I know that Magdiel is available. Uh, Marilyn, are you available? Uh, Eric is available. Diego, Mauricio, I'm not sure. Oh, I have nobody right <laughs> Not so many people. Ma and, Ma uh, Mauricio. Yes. Are you? Yes, I'm here. All uh, right. Well, wait. Didn't you say? Yes, um, I'm here. Uh, didn't you send a message to the group saying that you were not going to be available? Because I read a message. No, Fabricio. Oh, yes. <laughs> No, but it is Fab Edgardo right there. Fabricio. 
Uh, oh, I don't know. Well, let me check. I just see no. You? Rafa Edgar and Fabricio is the same, is the same and name, right? Kenji. Oh, no, but my... Raul. Then it's Raul Elgardo. Yes, Raul Elgardo, not you. <laughs> I don't know if I I think that in in WhatsApp I have a a pork. I yes. I thought it was you. I thought it was you. That's why. Okay. Uh, we're going to start by doing this activity individually for a couple of minutes, maybe uh, from uh, six to eight minutes. I want you guys to do this. Let me show you in the presentation. That I, I told you that we have many things to cover today, especially report speech. There are three parts that we have to cover uh, about report speech. One of them is kind of complicated and uh, well, we're going to deal with that later on. So today is class number seven. As you know, it's Wednesday, almost Friday, two more days, and we're going to be on Friday. <laughs> yes. All right. Very good. So let's begin with this activity. Review about online shopping tips. It says breakout room activity, but we're not going to do that because we're just uh, like five and uh, it's it's too much. We don't have enough, enough students to do that. So uh, you guys individually are going to come up with as many tips as possible when shopping items, articles, tools, products, clothes online. You're going to be telling me tips, tips that I have to follow or that I should follow when I shop or buy things online. All right. Do you understand the activity? Guys, do you understand the activity? Yes, John, I get it. All right, all right. So we are in, talking about uh, shopping online. Yes, shopping, just shopping online tips. Well, it's tips. a review about online shopping tips. Okay. Tips, ideas, good, good ideas about shopping online, only online, not like going to the place or the brick and mortar store. I'm talking about just, just online things. You can come, come up with as many as you want, maybe five, maybe six, maybe 10. I don't know, okay? Yes. So let's begin with that. Think about some tips. And uh, you're gonna have a, lot, a couple of minutes, maybe a six minutes or a seven or eight. And uh, well, go ahead. I'm here if you have any questions, let me know. Let me share the what we're what we're doing right now. I did not copy that. I copied it. Then, uh, weird. Did you get a message in the what in the Zoom chat? Okay, okay, better. I don't know what happened with that. So we're just uh for this user who just got here, we're thinking thinking about tips that we can follow when we shop things online. Okay, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Sorry to be late. It's okay. No problem. No problem. Okay, you are here, and that's that's the good thing. Thank you. Uh, 
third picture, you're gonna do breakout rooms or we are working here? Individually, individually. Oh, okay. Individually. Okay. But I, you know, I, I don't have my cell phone with me right now, so I don't have a timer. Let me find one in Google right now. <laughs> a timer to just give you the time. Hold on. What? There you go. The timer is in. Five minutes from now. Five minutes. Raul Algarve, good evening. Are you available? And Julissa Villarta, let me know, people. Let me give you some some ideas for tips too. Just one out uh, this place. Check uh see check the uh, check if the website is legit. That can be one. One tip, you got to see what's going on with the website, if it is legit or not. And what else? Look for the, the product in different websites to compare prices, All right? Let's see what else.
Let me know if you have any questions, okay? Let me know, let me know. I'm going to give you one more minute. One more minute. Breathe, uh, breathe. Read the reviews of previous consumers. That's a good tip too. All right, let's see. Uh, let's begin sharing your tips. Let me let's see, let me see, let me see. Eric, uh, it doesn't matter how many tips you have. If you have three, if you have a six, if you have 10, no problem, share. Share what you have. Okay. Um, the first one is look for the store's social media and follow. Follow because uh, you have to be pending to them because sometimes they show promotion on a specific day and hours. And another is before you buy something, review before comments. buying. Uh, before yes. buying. Yes, yes, I, I, I review the. The, the rule before buying something uh, review comments on publication and trust trust know if customers are satisfied with the service mm -hmm. and another is uh, you can compare price prices in different in different places that's it Okay, it's okay, it's okay, Eric. Thank you for sharing your tips. Yes, I am going to follow them. <laughs> All right, thank you. Let me see. Marilyn, do you have any tips? No, okay, she's not there. Let me see. Stephanie, what about you? Unavailable, okay. Magdiel, do you have your tips? I'm working that. I'm sorry? I only have, I only have two, two two sentences. Only two? That's okay, that's okay. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, when you are going to buy online, be careful with share your password. Your password. Mm -hmm. And be careful with the suspicious page pages. Mm -hmm. And be careful with uh when you buy online and when you use your credit card or debit card and I don't remember 
um, what is it? Any the 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 logo and the at the end of the link, like uh, look. Ah, uh, the lock. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. That's the word. But lock, like this, the beginning, the lock icon, uh -huh. the symbol, the symbol. Lock icon. Uh -huh. um, be careful with that. And another recommendation to be. Yes. What's the other one? <laughs> the. Um, use the correct information and only that term. <laughs> okay and it's okay thank you thank you for sharing Magdiel. let me try with uh Fabricio okay I have four mm -hmm. okay perfect First, uh, make sure the place where you buy is a safe online website. Number two, use a dedicated debit card for online purchases with a little more than the purchase amount is in case of fraud or scam. I don't know what word is better, fraud or scam. Call her correct. You can say scam. Scam, yes. Okay. Number three, uh, make sure the seller is um, the confianza. Uh, be sure the seller is uh, trust, trust trustworthy. Trustworthy. Uh -huh. trustworthy. Yes. In the last, uh, Make sure uh, there is no very high shipping cost. Okay. All right. You got it. You got it, Fabrice. Excellent. Thank you for sharing your tips. Thank Let's you. Let's continue with another person, Diego. Share your tips, Diego. Okay, teacher. And for example, if you are going to pay a subscription on a page, but um, you are thinking that you are you're gonna use it one time or only a week, for example, pay this subscription and then cancel that. Because um, if you if you leave your credit card all month, the, the page, it's gonna be discounting the price. Okay. Yes, it's, it's not a... Um, <laughs> Uh, bueno, es para experiencia propia. Oh, and then, um, uh, be sure that uh, the post, the online post, is uh, um, eso que decía de confianza. Que, ¿Cuál era la palabra? A trustworthy. It, it's a trust, trustworthy. Because um, everyone can uh, if steal. your information, steal, your information, steal yes. sorry, steal your information and uh, can use your credit card to buy something. Exactly. And what else? Don't use the same uh, password in everywhere. Try to change a character because if you if you use the same uh, password to the old sites um, someone can uh, hack you and and get your passwords and your all accounts all right all right very good very good nice tips thank you for sharing them let me see who has and shared the tips mauricio do you have them Mauricio.
Hi, I'm sorry, but I, I'm in the call. Uh, I do apologize for the inconvenience. Okay, no problem. Take it easy. Take it I'm easy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm I'm checking the 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 tips, but I I I'm having a call. Sorry. Hi, hi. That's fine. That's fine. I understand. Okay, very good. Let's see. Uh, Raúl, what about you? Raúl hasn't done anything. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, no problem. Guys, let's continue, and uh, I need your participation for this uh, following activity. It's related to uh, report speech. Let me show it to you. There are some exercises that we're going to be solving. Yes, let me just uh, bring them on. All right, over here, uh, I want to remind you of the verbs that we use to to report imperatives. Remember that imperatives is is a it's a verb, it's a verb plus a complement. It doesn't have a person. It doesn't have a subject. All right. It's just uh, some command, some request that a person said. All right. So we use, excuse me, for polite requests, we use the following verbs. Advise, urge, ask, remind, request, beg, and suggest. For orders, we use tell, order, instruct, command, forbid, demand, and insist. I told you yesterday that there is a difference in three, uh, well, there is uh, some kind of, uh, uh, well, with three verbs. Suggest, demand, and insist. We do not follow the same pattern as the as the other verbs. I mean, we do not say, we do not say he suggested me, he demanded me, or he insisted me. Okay, what we do here is that we include subject, the subject, and we use the word that. Suggested that, and then the subject, demanded that, and then the subject, insisted that, and the subject. For example, I can say, my coworker, my coworker suggested that I buy gasoline at Puma. My coworker suggested me, uh, suggested, sorry, suggested that I buy uh, gasoline at Puma. Yes. My students demanded that I give them a second chance. My students demanded that I give them a second chance. That's how it goes. We're going to use those verbs in the following sentences. Look at this. I have seven examples. Seven examples with the imperative. This is a, a review of what we studied yesterday. Let me read them to you. My mom says, eat healthy food. My, my boss orders, send the reports on time. My son tells me, bring me anything. Me to myself, fight for your happiness. My dentist says, brush your teeth every day. The Bible says, love thy neighbor. And a wise man says, love yourself more than anything. So what are we going to do? We are going to report the following sentences. We got, we got the, the reported sentence on the other side. So we're going to report, report, uh, report them. But I'm going to give you the verb that you're going to use. All right, let me see. Demand. In the first one, we're going to use the verb advice to report. The second one, order. The third one, demand. Yes, here we're going to use advice. Recommend. Yes. Urge. And the last one, advice. Okay, people, I'm going to give you around five, no, four, four or five minutes to do these activities, to do these, these exercises, yes, to do them. <clears throat> Uh, 
But you know what? Let's do them right now. Let's improvise. Let's improvise. Number one. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. Number one. Okay. I need your help. Number one, a volunteer. My mom says, eat healthy food. How can you report this imperative or this command? Guys, help me out. My mom advised. Okay, my mom advised me. Uh, advised me to eat healthy food. Exactly, to eat There you Teacher, go. I, I have problems with that. For example, I don't know when I use, for example, the advised me, for example, or a suggested, can I say suggested me? Yeah, no. No, right? I have problems to, to recognize that. There are, when... only three, there are only three verbs. Suggested, suggest, demand, and insist only these these three verbs i mean when you are reporting when you are reporting only these three verbs take the following structure plus that plus subject so i can say my mom my mom suggested that i that i eat healthy food Yes, or my mom insisted that I eat healthy food or my mom demanded that I eat healthy food. Only with these three verbs, suggest, demand, and insist. With the other ones, we can say advised, advised me, ordered me, demanded me, uh, recommended me, or urged me, etc. Yes. Okay, the teacher, thank Yes. The second one. My boss, my boss orders send reports on time. Guys, I need your help. Might be my boss, my boss ordered me to send the reports on time. My boss. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you. All right. Let me, my boss ordered me to send the reports on time. Yes, that's how it goes. That's exactly how it goes. Thank you. Let's continue. My son tells me, bring me anything. My son tells me, bring me anything. Guys, I need your help. I need your help. My son, demand. Demand? That, demand that, bring me anything. All right, look. My son demanded that, that. I. Uh -huh. Bring, uh -huh, bring, bring me, no, him, bring you, exactly, him, him, bring, yes, yes. we're talking about, we're bring talking about me. my son, my son demanded okay. that I bring him, I bring him, anything, okay. yes, this okay. is my example, people, this is, this happens to me every day, my son, my son asks me, Papi, what did you bring me? Every day. Every day. Oh, my God. All right. Me to myself, fight for your happiness. Guys, fight I, for your happiness. Yes? I advised to me. Mm -mm, myself. To myself. Sorry, sir. No. I advised myself. Myself to fight. Mm -hmm. for my happiness exactly
I advised myself to fight for my happiness. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my dentist says, brush your teeth every day. Let's use the verb recommend. Okay. No. I will try. Okay. My dentist uh, recommend me mm -hmm. brush my teeth every day. Okay. My dentist recommended me to to brush oops, my teeth every day. Oops. It's very day. <laughs> every day. Every day. All right. My dentist recommended me to brush my teeth every day. Yes. Thank you for participating. The next one. The Bible says, love thy neighbor, urge. Anyone? Guys, hello. Okay, uh, I will try. All right. I'm not sure. Uh, the Bible, the Bible, urge. Urge. In this case, in this case, uh, we can say we can say that is in the present because you know. The Bible is uh, preached every day in in many places around the world, and it's uh pretty much this this expression love that neighbor is is pretty much uh, advised to everyone every single day. So urges, let's say, not not mm -hmm. simple past, the present. About the Bible urges us, okay, let's say, urges us, urges us, urges us. Uh, love the neighbor to to love to love, uh, to love. Uh. what is Thai huh what is Thai you don't know <laughs> no <laughs> all right it's like our this, this is this is uh how can I tell you this if you read the Bible in English you're not going to find the 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 word you you're not going to find it. You're gonna find die. Okay, and it's 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 uh to refer to the word you. You can say you can say that the word die means su or tu. Like your love your neighbor. Love your neighbor, die means your. Yes. That's what it means. Okay. It's a very old word. It's old. It's an old fashioned word. In the Bible, you can see it. You can see it a lot. You can find it there. Yes. Okay. I can do the next. All right. Yes. Let me tell you something. Even the most, the, the most famous, uh, one of the most famous, uh, Biblical uh, verses or phrases is hallowed, hallowed with, uh, be thy be thy name. In according to chat, hallowed with my name, santificado sea su nombre, right? Yes, see si, thy over there. Yes, we don't we don't in the Bible you know you don't see your that much. Okay, a wise man says. Love yourself more than anything. Go ahead. Uh, wise men. Mm -hmm. Advise yes. me. Yes. To love myself. Exactly. More than anything.
A wise man advised me to love myself more than anything. Yes, exactly. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for your participation. Now, we're going to continue with something that is a little similar, a lot similar to this. Yes, a lot similar, I can say. We're going to continue talking about imperatives, but this time is going to be about the negative or in the negative form. If you if you haven't done or worked on the platform, on the platform you're going to find some negative imperatives. And the structure for the negative is is different. It's, well, this uh yeah, it is different, but it's not really, really like there's not a, a big difference. Just a, a very small difference right there. Let me show it to you right now. So look, how do you report speech with negative imperatives? To make a negative imperative, we use the auxiliary don't, plus the verb and the complement. For example, don't use your cell phone while driving. Yes, this is the negative imperative. The only difference is that we're using the auxiliary don't at the beginning and then the rest of it. Don't plus the verb plus the complement, as you see it here. Don't, hold on. Don't plus the verb and complement. Yes. Yes. Uh, can you say can you say some imperatives in, in some negative imperatives, people? Can you say some of them? Using don't. Guys? I, I couldn't catch code. Sorry? Again, again, I couldn't catch. No, I, I'm asking you to, to provide examples using negative imperatives. As the example you see here, don't use your phone while driving. Yes. Don't smoke. What else can you say? Don't talk too loud because it's not. Don't talk too loud? Don't talk so loud. Okay. Because don't... it's not polite. All right. Don't talk so loud because it is not polite. Very good. What else? Don't eat in the store. Don't? Don't eat in some stores. I okay, can don't... see a, 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 a picture a picture in some stores. Don't eat. All right. Okay, that's a good one. Don't eat in some stores. People don't drink beer. <laughs> no, it, it is okay. <laughs> it is okay. Right, right. It's perfectly fine. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. It, they are very easy. Imperatives, I mean, negative imperatives are very easy to understand, very easy to express. And the structure is like this. Look, my dad, sorry, DS, DS stands for direct speech. Again, the DS stands for direct speech. My dad, my dad says, don't waste your money. Don't waste your money. How are we going to report this sentence or this negative imperative? We are go we're gonna do it like this. My dad, I said advises, okay. My dad advises me not to waste my money. The affirmative imperatives are are reported without not. If you remove not then you are reporting an affirmative imperative. My dad advises me to waste my money. In this case, this is not. My dad advises me not to waste my money. Yes. It's not really complicated. Just don't becomes not. Yes. That's what we do. That's what we change. The, the, the auxiliary don't, we change it to the word not. And that's how you, you, you make it. 
And uh, the word not, the word not goes right after me, you, us, them, or the person. The object pronoun. Yes, the object pronoun. Now, excellent. Let's continue. Take a look at this one. My mind. Lyric speech. My mind says, don't go to bed late. My mind, say, my mind says, don't go to bed late. How do you report it? Tell me, how do you report it? My mind says, don't go to bed late. My Tell mom me. orders me. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. To not. Not to, not to. It's, it's not, the other way around. Not to. Not to. Uh -huh. Not to go. Not to go be, be late. Okay, look. Take a look. My dad advises me not to. To not know, okay? Not to waste my money. So, my mind reminds me. I have reminds me over here. You can say orders, probably. My mind reminds me not to go to bed late again the word not goes right after the object pronoun the object pronoun is the person right after the verb me you him her us them the doctor my sister my brother and the, well any any object pronoun that you can use another example my students say don't assign too much homework. My students say, don't assign too much homework. How can you report this sentence? Tell me. Report it. I will try, teacher. Thank you, Fabricio. My students... Um... Advise me, advises, or okay, advise, advise me. Advice, advice. Advise advice. me. Yes. Not to assign too much homework. There you go. There you go. My students are, uh, advise me not to assign too much homework. Yes. All right. Let's see what, what we have over here. Well, I, have the, I have the verb bag. You know what bag is? You remember what bag is? Bag? Well, you're begging, right? No, 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 no. Right. <laughs> so, my students beg me not to, sorry, not to assign too much homework. So, it's pretty simple. What we have to do is just uh, change the word, the auxiliary down to not, and then we make it. Right. Now, I have uh, 10 examples over here. And uh, I'm going to give you a minute, a minute to go around, to look at them, to look at them. And then we're going to be sharing. We have everything already. We have the person, we have the verb, we have me. And we're going to just make a negative, all right? I'm going to give, give you a minute to look around, to, to see, to check them all. And then we're going to be sharing one by one. Let's take a look. All right, let's see. Number one, Tyler, Don played fo football in the garden. Tyler told me. Guys, not, Tyler told me. Not, not to play football in the garden. Not to play. Football, football in the garden. 
One feet better make it slower. 16, okay. All right. Can you see the what I'm writing? Yes, teacher. Okay, I think for sure. Which one looks better? The blue one looks better. All right, there you go. The second one, teacher, don't forget your homework. The teacher reminded me. The teacher remind me not to play, no, not to not to forget homework, your homework. My homework, sorry. Uh -huh, exactly. Yes. Not to forget, not to forget. My homework. My forget. Forget. My homework. Excuse me. There you go. All right. Here is already there. Dennis, don't don't shoot a I said shout or shoot. Okay, don't shout a Reese. Dennis told me. Dennis told me. No. Uh, Dennis told me not should or, or shouldn't. Not to. Um, not to. Not to shoot at risk. You know what shout is? You know what shout is? No, you don't. You don't know about the, the verb. Scream. Shout. Sorry. Shout is like a scream. Exactly, like jail. Shout is when you're raising. When you're raising your voice. When you're raising your voice, it's like yelling. Yelling at a person. Or screaming. A screaming is, is what like when you're like is making noise. That's scream. And uh shout is not really screaming. Shout is speaking. You're speaking, you're saying things. It's like jail. When you speaking jail, loud. Exactly, exactly. Right, right, right. You're right. So Dennis told me not to shout at Reese. Right? Stephanie, don't talk to your neighbor. Stephanie told me. Not to. Uh -huh. Not to. Talk with my neighbor. Okay. Talk to my. Give us a with no problem. Yes. My. Oops. Stephanie told me not to talk to my neighbor. Denise, don't open the door. Hello. Denise told me not mm -hmm. to not to open the door. Yes, Denise told me not to open the door. Excellent. Next, Marcelo, don't sing that song. Marcelo reminded me not to sing that song. Not to sing that song. Yes, exactly. Jane, don't watch the new film. Jane advised me. Yes, Jane not advised to, me. Not to watch. Not to watch. To watch the new film. The new film. There you go. Not to watch the new film. Eight, Walter, don't ring mom on Sunday. Walter told me. That's Walter not to told ring me. mom on Sunday. Not to ring mom on Sunday. Okay, not to ring. Walter told me not to ring mom on Sunday. Number nine, Lisa, don't use debit cards. Lisa advised me.
Yes. Not to use debit cards. Okay. Lisa advised me not to use debit cards. And the last one, Jamie. Don't eat so much junk food. Jamie reminded me. <laughs> reminded me, yes. Hello. Not to mm -hmm. eat yes. so much junk food. All right, there you go. Okay, we got it. We got it. Thank you very much. Now, do you have any questions, people, about negative imperatives? Yes, I have a, a question. Okay, tell me. In the case of the three um, bird that we use that I after, uh, always we use, for example, in the first uh, tiller suggests that I that I don't that exactly, always yes. yeah you're right you're oh. right okay Tyler told me sorry <laughs> suggested right so Tyler suggested suggested that I I don't that I don't play play football in the garden. Yes, there you go. Tyler that is the answer. That I don't play football in the garden. That, that is, is the true. answer, a correct answer in this case. I'm sorry? That is the correct answer. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, in this case, it would be an exception for three, for three, uh, Bear. Yes, for suggest, demand, and uh, what's In, the other one? Insist. 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 Yes. For those okay, three verbs, okay. we're going to keep using the same structure, this one, that I don't. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you. All right. Guys, more questions? Okay, no question then. Let me tell you that we're gonna continue with uh, with a difficult part or the complicated part right now. And it's this, let me show you. You got I got it here, but I'm gonna show you in the in the on the book. That it is it's kind of complicated. Because there's a there are three structures that we have to cover. And take a look. It's on page 20. Page 20, and now we're we're dealing with e-shopping issues. Okay, maybe tomorrow or on Friday we're going to see about issues when shopping. Yes. Uh I know that we have gone ahead. We're not supposed to be on page number 20. Uh, the last page we worked on was page number 16. Yes, which was this one yesterday. Yes. We haven't done six, 17, 18, 19, and uh, you may ask me why. Well, that is the program. The program is sending me to page number 20, 
And tomorrow I am going to work on page number uh, 17 and 18. Yes. Just, I don't know. I think it's because since we're talking about report speech and it report speech over here, you got to continue using it. So how to use report speech, just no questions introduced by if and whether. Like I said, this is uh, a little bit more complicated than the previous report speech uh, sessions. So just no questions introduced by if or whether. What is weather? Do you know what weather is? No. Any ideas? I'm sorry? Yes. 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 The, of course. Uh, the winter, environment. Uh, yes, rain. It's, it, it's, it's similar. Yes. Uh, weather and if are synonyms. They are synonyms. They mean yes. Yes, if and whether are synonyms. What is the difference? There is a small difference in the grammar structure. I'm going to show you how it goes. Look at what it says over here. When reporting things that other people say or ask, especially ask, not say, ask, because it's questions, the verb tense often ch shifts back. Just no questions. This type of reported, well, just no questions are here. This type of reported, sorry, this type of question is reported by using ask and want to know. These two are the reporter verbs, the reporting verbs, ask and want to know. Right? Ask and want to know. For example, A, the teacher asked me if you are coming to the party. Right? The teacher asked me if you're coming to the party. Right? Or for example, I asked the, the teacher, the, the student is here. I'm the teacher, the student is here. Hey, Pablo, is Mauricio coming to the party? And I'm Pablo, and I, hey, Mauricio, the teacher asked me if you are coming to the party. That's how we use it. So ask or want to know. The teacher wants to know if you're coming to the party. Or the teacher wants to know whether you are coming to the party or not. But let's see. Let's practice it. So ask and want to know are the reporting verbs. Yes. And then, then we use if or whether plus a clause. A clause. A clause is a group of words. It's a group of words. They contain a subject and they contain a verb yes, and a complement. But they are not independent. For example, take a look. As you know, simple past when a purpose, when I'm sorry, simple present. When a person says something using simple present, when you report it, you change it to simple past. The same situation, happen, situation happens here. Look, customer, is there, look, is there a special discount for this product? That is the question. That is the question. Is there a special discount for this product? How do you report this? How do you report this? Let's continue. Report speech. This is the reported sentence. There you go. The reported sentence says, the customer asked whether there was a special discount for the product. If you want, you can use or not. The customer asked whether there was a special discount for the product. As you can see, we're basically doing the same thing as before as the first session of report speech with the verb ask. The verb ask goes to the past form. And uh, in this case, is, is is the verb. The verb is goes to the past form. In this case, is was. All right? That's what, how it goes. That's one example. 
Another example is the following. Customer, can this uh, be purchased in the UK or only in the US? Report speech. The customer asked if the product could be purchased in the UK or only in the US. That's how we report questions. But let me copy this information and uh, I'm going to give you more examples. Over here. Here we go. We have examples here from, from all right, there you go. These are the examples that we have in the book. Let's make a comparison. Teacher, okay, a question. Yes. The, the book is on the platform? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. I can show you where, where to get it from. All right. So I was telling you is, is the verb. When you report it, the verb has to go into the past form. The reporting verbs are just two of them. You report with ask in the past form, of course. And you report with want to know. In this case, it's one that goes in the past form. One goes in the past form. We report with this ones. Yes. All right. And look, past form. Over here, uh, we're using can. Can is the, the question here. Ask in the past form. And the could goes. Goes like that, All right? But let me give you an example right now. Look, are there apples, any apples in the refrigerator? Look, are there any apples in the refrigerator? Are there any apples in the refrigerator? I'm asking. Now, how are you going to report this question? I'm how are trying. you going to? Yes. Okay. Uh, teacher, ask whether there are any apple in the fr in the refrigerator. Whether whether there was any apple in the refrigerator? There you go. There's a mistake. There's a mistake. I, I, I'm shaking that. A mistake. So the teacher asked, fine, fine, excellent. Whether, fine. There was, a, there is okay. Was is not because we're talking about we're using R, you know, in the past there, form of R. There were exactly yes. Now it, it's fine. The teacher asked whether there were any apples in the refrigerator, and we have the option to use or not. Put it here or not. If you want to use that, use it. If you want to remove it. No problem, all right? You can use it. Only with, with whether. Yes. Or, or you can use if the teacher. Use, let's use one. Wanted to know if there were any apples in the The teacher wanted to know if there were any apples in the refrigerator. 
Yes. Wanted to know or ask. Yes. All right. Let's continue. More questions here. Let's say, do you like Do you like to read books? That is the question. And now we need to report this question. We need to report this question. Let's say my friend. My friend, guys. My friend. Hello. Wanted to know. Mm -hmm. Wanted to know. Uh, wanted to know if, if if I like to read books. I liked liked to read books. To read books. Yes. Yes. My friend wanted to know if I liked books. To read books. Yes. You can use you can use uh weather as well, no problems if you want to. Look, my friend wanted to know whether I like books or not. Yes. Also, we can also say my friend asked uh asked me if I liked to read to read books. You can also use weather, no problem. Yes. Okay, very good. One more question. One more question. Let's use the, 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 the modal verb can. Can he tell a story? Can he tell a story? Guys, can you help me out by uh, with the reporting? Anyone? Okay, I, I wanna try. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know if if he can tell a story. Okay. I wanted to know if he can tell a story. You can use weather, okay? Uh, I wanted to know whether he can tell a story. Okay, you can use both. You can use both. You can use e either if or, or whether. But there is a problem here. Remember, you have to change the verb to the past form. In this case, we're not going to change the verb tell. We're going to change the modal verb, which goes before the I verb. Just did. He could. Exactly, exactly. You are right. He okay. could tell a story. He could tell a story. I wanted to know if or whether he could tell a story. Or you can use the other option. I asked if he could tell a story. All right. Yes. People, do you understand this one? The second answer is uh is is like a sure option. What do you mean? Um about if it's weather. The second one. No, in this, the, 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 last, the last question, he can tell a story. And I, I think that uh, I ask. 
uh, is a uh, the, the the short option when we are making a a speech. Yes, yes, pretty much, pretty much. It's shorter, it's shorter. Technically speaking, it's shorter. Yes. All right. Do you have any questions about these questions? No, okay, very good. Here comes the, the difficult part. Difficult part. And it's simple past. Simple past cha uh, being changed to past perfect. Simple past goes to past perfect. Yes. If a person, if a person, if the first person says something in the past, you have to report that using past perfect. The structure goes with the auxiliary verb had plus the past participle form of any verb. We have the structure over here. Let me copy this and I'm going to explain this to you. Right here. Now, let me see. Simple past changes to changes to past perfect. Past perfect is hot plus past. Had plus past participle, all right? Now, let's see what, what's up. Let's see what's up. Customer, was I charged for shipping? Was I charged for shipping? Let me see, let me select the verb. Was. That is the verb. That is the verb that we are going to change. Yes. We are still using the verb ask, the reporting verb ask, and the reporting verb wanted to know. Still using them. We're still working with weather, as you can see over here. Oops. We're still using, uh, working with what happened. Using weather, and we're still using if I right. yes now we're going to change we're going to change the verb was yes and now I ask people how do you say or what is the past participle form of the verb was what is the past participle of the verb was Been. Been, exactly, exactly. As you can see, the customer asked if he had, we got the combination over here, if he had been charged for shipping. Second example, did the package arrive? You have to know, in this case, you have to know the past form, excuse me, the past participle form of the verb arrive. What is the past participle form? Arrived. Arrived with D at the end. Did he, sorry, did the package arrive? Reported. Did the, uh, sorry, the customer wanted to know whether the package had arrived or not. Had arrived or not. More questions. Was uh, the boss happy with the results? Was the boss happy with the results? Now let's report this. Tell me. This teacher, I had a question. Yes. I have a question. 
in the reporter's uh, sentence, and the customer wanted to know whether the package had arrived or arrived or not. Mm -hmm. uh, why is not had been? What do you mean? Had been arrived. No, 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 no. No. Because because over here, been, been is the past participle form of the verb was. Ah, okay, okay. Yes. And uh, charge, you. charge is not a verb. Charge is an adjective. Yes, an adjective. It's not a verb. Yes. Yes, thank you. That's why. Okay, let's continue. Let's see. Was the boss happy with the result? Let me help you out. It's she, let's say. She wanted to know if the boss had, all right, had been happy Happy with the result. So she wanted to know if the boss had been happy with the result, or result. she. Sorry. Results. Yes, thank you. Results. Right. She asked. Asked. Uh, whether. The boss had been happy with the results or not. I told you that or not is optional. If you want to use it, go ahead. If you want to remove it, go ahead. No problem. Another one. Were we, were we, let me see what we can say. Uh, Tired by the end of the day. Were we tired by the end of the day? Tired is not a verb, it's an adjective. The verb is were. Let's report this. Can you help me out with the reporting? Take your time. I know it's 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 a little bit more complicated. What is the verb in that sentence? Were. Where is the verb? Were. Were. Ah. Yes. Tired is not a verb. Tired is not a verb. Yes. Any ideas? May I try? Yes. He wanted to know. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, let me see. Whether uh -huh. we have been tired by the end of the day. Or not? Let's see. Check this out. He wanted to know whether we had been tired by the end of the day. Yes, the structure is fine. Perfect. He asked if we had been tired by the end of the day. Okay, that's how it goes. Let's continue with the verb did. Did, sorry, did the president speak in front of uh, Did the president speak in front of one million people? Why did I write one number? Did the president speak in front of one million people? Maybe I wanted to know. 
Okay, I wanted to know. Yes. If, if the president uh -huh. spoke. No, auxiliary. Sorry. Auxiliary. Ah, uh, sorry. The president. Ah, sorry. The president. Mm -hmm. Went. No, no. The president. The president. Uh huh. The president. <laughs> Look up there, past perfect. The president had. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Mm -hmm. Had. Done. 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 Yes. Have done. No. Okay. Spoke. There you go. Oh. The verb is not did. The verb is not did. When you're using, let and me remind spoken. you. Exactly. Spoken. Exactly, Eric. Exactly, exactly. Let me remind you of this. When you're using the verb be, the verb be, was and were, they are the verbs. Was is a verb and were is a verb. We use them with adjectives. Happy. Yes, tired. Now, when we're using did, did is not the verb. Did is the auxiliary. The verb is the one right after, right after the person or the subject. In this case, the verb is speak. So we have to find out or uh, try to remind what the past participle form of the verb speak is. Spoken. And that's what, sorry? And Eric this mentioned spoken? spoken, exactly. Spoken is the past participle form. Spoken in front of one million. I wanted to know if the president had spoken in front of one million people. Or I asked whether the the president had spoken in front of one million people. Okay, very good. This one, this one is more complicated, right? <laughs> this one is more complicated. A little bit. Yes. The thing is that, like I said, it, it, it's not really difficult. What makes it difficult is that you have to know the structure of the verb. You have to know the past participle form of the verb. Well, the past form and the past participle form. You have to know both of them. All right. Do you have any questions about this? Sorry, sorry teacher. Just uh, I want to know where I can find the... Uh... And the textbook uh, on the platform. Okay, okay. Let me help you out right now. Let me help you out. No problem. Yes, it's easy to find. Can you see the the the, the, the what I'm sharing? Yes. Here, Susano. Just click on it and you're going to see it. Okay. You're going to find it. If you want, you can like go, go to this part and download it to your computer. So it's here. Students manual, you can get it there. Okay. Look for it. If you don't find it, let me know and I'm going to share it uh, through WhatsApp. I can do that too. In fact, let me see if I can do it right now. Why not? <laughs> Why not? 
right? It is printable too, right, teacher? Sorry? It is printable. Yeah, yeah, you can print it out. Okay, you thank it. you. Let me know if you get it. I just sent it. Did you get it? Yes, thank you. Yes. It's right there. All right. Let's continue. Okay, that was that was the, the, the most or that was the challenging part. Now this part with wheel and wood is kind of easy. You just change wheel to wood, and that's pretty much what we do. Yes. I right, look. Uh let me explain this to you. Oh, out over here. Customer, will the laptop be delivered on Monday? You're going to change the, the auxiliary, well, the, the model, the model verb will to would. Would is the past form. Will is the one that we use for future, and would is the past form. So the customer inquired, hey, what does inquire mean? Do you remember or do you know? Inquired. No? It's the same as no, asked. Like a question. It's the same as asked. The same. It's a synonym. Ask, I ask, or I inquire. But inquire is not really common. Ask is, is very common. All right. The customer inquired if the laptop would be delivered on Monday. Would be delivered on Monday. Look. Or in this case, it will. Would. That's the difference. Customer. Will the shipping cost increase with the premium delivery or not? Report speech. The customer asked if the shipping cost would increase with the premium delivery. All right. Let me see. Let's go. Will Huang go to uh, get? Will Juan get promoted? Will Juan get promoted? Let's do it. Juan, Juan asked if he... Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. Juan asked if he... Would... Uh -huh. promote, promote it? No. Would... Oh, you're, you're... Uh, would uh, got promoted. Would? Got. Okay. People, let me remind you of this. When you're using modal verbs, can, could, will, should, uh, I cannot remember right, remember right now. Okay. Will, would, can, could, may, might, all the modal verbs, when you're using them, the verb that goes next to the modal verb, that verb goes in the base form, not past, all right? So it means that over here, get is correct, promoted. Not got, got is the past form, but we're using the, the, the modal verb would, so we, we don't have to use the, the past form of the verb, yes. Easy, right, Ivo? This one is easy. This one is easy. Okay. Now, do you have any questions about all of it? All of this? Any questions about all of it? No, teacher. Okay, then let's do part number five. We have six questions. I'm going to give you around five minutes. I'm going to give you five minutes. Is the item durable? Will the item be easy to use? Did you mention the dimensions? Did you mention the dimensions of the item? Is the bottom shelf wide enough to hold a printer? Did you, char do you charge extra fees for shipping? 
and did the warranty cover the cost of, re of the repairs? Five minutes, go.
guys, let me know. Let me know. I think that I can say the first. All right. The first one. Hold on. Guys, are you ready, all of you? Ready. No, did okay. you? No. She... Okay. Hey, take it easy, take it easy, Diego. <laughs> You're excited, Sorry. right? You're excited, right? <laughs> that's good, that's good. I'm having problems to understand it, but... Yeah, I know, I, I understand. The thing is that now we have uh, three different uh, ways to report. That's why you, you get confused. It's easy when you only have one, one, uh, one structure. And now we have three. Yes. And they are questions, so it makes it more difficult. Place your parcel and have a single part of Okay, let's begin with the sharing. Diego is going to share number one. Okay. He wanted to know. Okay, he wanted yes. to know whether mm -hmm. the item were durable the item uh, you the item i don't know if i can use where or what what is the password of it ah sorry what's was. the past form of is was Exactly, exactly. It was the past form, excuse me, the past form of the verb are is were, and the past form of for am and is is was. So, I, yes, sorry. I was confused. I, it's okay. It's yes, okay. I was confused. The item was, uh, the item was durable, right? Durable. Yeah, durable. Or people, if you have it differently, it's okay. You can you can also say he 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 asked if the item was durable, or he wanted to know if the item was durable. Yes, you have uh, several options. It's okay if you have a, a different option. Now, number two, anyone, will the item be easy to use? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, the, for example, the customer inquired if the item will be easy to use. I inquired. Inquired? If the item. 
will be yes. easy to use. To be easy to use. I made a mistake there. I think a mistake. Let me fix it. Oh, you what? All right. The customer inquired if the item would be easy to use. Yes. Or the customer wanted to know, the customer asked whether the item or if the item, both are correct. Yes. You have uh, multiple choices. Number three, anyone. Did you mention the dimensions of the item? Anyone? I think that is hard, but... Mm -hmm. uh... Try. I asked. Uh -huh. I asked. If. Mm -hmm. If. If you have. No. No. Different person. He asked. Yes, he asked. If, if I. you. If I. Yes. yes, sorry, sir. If I. Mm -hmm. If I have mentioned. Uh, if I had mentioned. Uh, mention uh, the the dimensions of the item. Okay, if I had mentioned the dimensions of the item. All right, yes. Yes, you can change he wanted to know or he inquired. We we have more options too. We have more options of, of asking, yes. Yes, I must show them to you later tomorrow. Is the bottom shelf wide enough to hold the printer? What about this one? Teacher, uh, I have a, a doubt. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, number three, uh, will it be correct to say the person asked if the dimension of the item will be mentioned? No, no, no. May maybe maybe the uh what do you say the person? The person asked if the dimension of the item will be mentioned. No 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 yes no because we're okay. using a simple past it has to be past uh past uh, perfect. Uh, will is only with will right? Exactly exactly yes yes. Okay, okay, thank you. So is the bottom shelf wet, wide enough to hold a printer? In this case, I don't know what's the verb. No, the verb is is. Shelf, I don't know what is shelf, sorry. Uh -huh. Is it the verb? No. No, that's not the verb, the verb is is. Okay. Is the verb. Shelf is, is a is a, a piece of furniture where you place things. Ah, okay, okay. Um, he uh, he asked mm -hmm. if the bottom yes. shelf. Uh -huh. The bottom shelf. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Had been. No. I uh, know, no, no. Uh, was, was, sorry, exactly. was. Wide, wide enough to hold a printer. Yes. Yes, it's difficult to me. He asked if the bottom shelf was wide enough to hold the printer. Correct. The next one. I know, I know people that, that it's already 10, 10, uh, well, 1003 already. I know, I know. But just two, two more examples. Yes. Do you charge extra fees for shipping? This one.
my friend okay. ask, asked mm -hmm. if I mm -hmm. if I have no no if I yes If I, yes. Charged. Exactly, charged. Extra fees for shipping. Yes. And the last one. Did the warranty cover the cost of the repairs? The customer wanted to know. The customer wanted to know. Yes. If, to, if the warranty. Uh, yes. It have co covered Gary. No. Have had covered. Covered. covered yes. yes. Have covered the mm -hmm. cost of the repairs. The cost of the repairs. All right. Yes. Here is correct. Okay. People, thank you for uh, practicing and participating. Tomorrow we will have a review of this because I know it's it's a lot to take in. There's a lot of information, so you tend to get confused. Yes. Like I said, the topic is not really uh, difficult to understand. What makes it difficult is that we have three structures that we have to, you know, work with. Yes. Do you have any questions? No, sir. No. No? Okay. Very good. Let me take attendance. Well, more likely update the attendance right now. Uh, let me see. Diego Josue Benitez. Present, sir. Thank you. Elizabeth Stephanie Vasquez. And we have uh, Emerson Alexander Lopez. Present. Thank you, Eric Enrique Reyes. I'm here. Thank you, Julissa Yamila Villalta. Uh, wait, attendance. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present. Thank you, Katia Maria Gonzalez Alvarenga. Present, teacher. Thank you, Luis Fabricio Tobar. Present teacher. Yes. Magdiel Esau Garcia. Present. Thank you. Marilyn Alejandra Grande. Uh, Mario Ernesto Ramirez. Rafael Edgardo, uh, Edgardo Alberto Solmed. Raul Edgardo Muñoz. And that's safe. That is all. All right. Thank you, Raul. People, thank you very much for joining today's session. I'm sorry that uh, it's it's seven minutes past eleven. I mean past ten. I do uh, apologize. I don't know if you mentioned me. Yes, I did. I yes, I did. Don't worry, Mauricio. Don't worry. Uh, you're good, okay. You're good. Yes, you're good. All right, guys. Uh, it's time to go. Thank you for joining today's session. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night and just sleep well, rest well. And uh, well, see you tomorrow. Thank you, people. Thanks. Bye. Thank you, Thanks. Good night. Bye, -bye guys. Bye, bye. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Bye-bye.